next video we're going to cook some ribs on the grill and i'm going to show you a very simple method uh, if you're starting out this would be perfect to start with it's the 411 method where we're going to cook them and smoke for four hours then we're going to wrap them for one hour and then we'll put them back on there uh, without the aluminum foil and finish them for an hour i've built a two zone fire here in my grill put a little rub on the ribs these are baby backs and the idea today is to stay around 225 250 anywhere in that neighborhood as long as i can stay down under about 265 or 270 i'll be happy and this is probably going to take about six hours so uh, i'll check on them periodically but the next time we do anything to these will be four hours from now here's a two hour check in ribs are starting to take on some really nice color uh, the temperature's holding pretty steady, just above 200 degrees on the grill. Haven't really had to do anything to it, so I'll go ahead and put the lid back on here, and the next time that you see these, we'll be wrapping them. Four hours has passed now, and I pulled them off and just wrapped them in a piece of aluminum foil, and I put them back on the grill. I'm going to put the lid back on here. We're going to continue to cook these for another hour, and then take them back out of that wrap and finish them for an hour, and they'll be done. We are now at the five hour mark. They've been wrapped for an hour. So next step is to take them out of the aluminum foil, put some sauce on them if you wish to do so. You can also do them dry. Sean and I like to uh, brush ours down with just a little bit of sauce. And we'll finish these for about an hour and they're ready to eat. I did accidentally break that one in two earlier. So I broke the last reel over two on the end off. So my presentation on these is probably not going to be the best, but not really worried too much about the way they look, just the way they taste. I'm gonna to try to do this without getting burned. I think we have one that's hoping these fall off the grill. We'll just put the lid back on here and let these finish out for about an hour and I'm gonna pull them off and start cutting them up and eating them. Here's what we're serving with our ribs. We've got some half runner green beans and new potatoes. And we've got a little bit of jalapeno uh, cornbread and a uh, little picking out of the garden from this evening. It's finally time to pull these ribs off. I think they're looking pretty good. I'll go ahead and pull them off and then we'll do a little recap. That's the finished product, folks. Got a good smoke ring. They're nice and juicy. Getting ready to tear into these. I want to do a little recap real quick. I just put a basic rub. I didn't really talk a lot about it. You can either use a store-bought rub or something you can order online, or if you want to make one, just a real quick place to start. Uh, equal parts salt, pepper, garlic, paprika, and uh, chili powder, and a little bit of uh, brown sugar. Start there, add, omit, do however you like till you get the way that you want it. Put them on a grill, 225 to 250 degrees, four hours. I used some good lump charcoal, so I got a lot of smoke. If you're using a briquette or if you want a little bit more smoke, I'd recommend putting some chunks of some good hardwood or a fruit wood on there. Uh, at the four hour mark, pull them off, wrap them in some aluminum foil, go back on the grill, same temperature for one more hour. After that, take them out of the aluminum foil and then if you prefer a sauce, go ahead at that time and put it on them. If not, if you like them dry, just put them back on there and let them set up, let them finish for one more hour you got a total of six hours into these ribs and they're juicy and they've got just a little bit of bite to them but they're still very tender they're not going to fall off the bone if you want them to fall off the bone there's some other methods um, you can wrap them a little bit longer if you're like me i prefer mine on the bone with just a tad bit of a bite but try this method especially if this is your first time and just kind of work with it and see what you think Hope you check out the course that I've got. I'll leave a link in the description to it. We've also got some merchandise. I uh, hope you guys have a, a great day. God bless you and thank you for watching.